Steve here, and today we're gonna be looking at some Sonic the Hedgehog toys. But just not toys, but bootleg toys, oh yeah! Now as you know on this channel, we love looking at bootlegs from franchises like Five Nights at Freddy's, and Bending in the Ink Machine, and this is the first time that I've been able to find bootlegs based on Sonic the Hedgehog. But I had to do a lot of searching for these things, and once I found them, <laughs> oh, I got a whole set that were made down in Mexico. Oh yeah, so we've got a bunch of Sonic the Hedgehog toys that we're gonna look at today that said they were based on the movie. So we're gonna open these up here and check them out. And the first figure we're gonna look at is good old Sonic the Hedgehog himself. <laughs> oh man, what is that? Oh, that's so crazy looking. Now we got a hold of these a little bit early, but uh, oh, look at that. It looks just like it does in that silly Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. <laughs> oh man, look at that. The round eyes and the crazy nose. Yep, just looks like a bootleg version of Sonic. Oh man. So I guess all those movie posters and stuff are based on the bootleg version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ha <laughs> ha, oh that makes sense. Oh brother. Ha, <laughs> just look at the paint job on this guy. Oh my gosh, I think they missed a spot. <laughs> oh man, they, they can't even stain the lines either. Oh man, and all those jagged edges. Oh crazy. And of course that's what bootlegs are known for. All the sloppy job of the uh, paint. Because if we look at an officially released Hedgehog, we see, yep, the paint lines are really nice and smooth, but this is uh, <laughs> all weird and shiny and stuff. And oh man, look at this. There's all kinds of plastic boogers hanging off there. <laughs> oh, gross. Yep, there's one there, there. Oh man, they're all over the place. And oh man, there's even red right there. <laughs> oh, like I said, oh, these Mexican bootlegs are crazy. So let's set this guy down on the table here and see if he'll stay. <laughs> oh, this bootleg doesn't even stand that well. Oh, man. So as you can see, you know, here's Sonic the Hedgehog, which looks a lot different from the uh, official version of Sonic. <laughs> oh, man. I think this might be a version of Sonic from one of those video games. Maybe Sonic Boom or something? Yeah, maybe. But uh, the person I bought it from said it was from the Sonic movie, so ah, who knows? You never know with those Mexican sellers because they're just trying to sell this stuff. Uh, so they'll probably mislabel it just to sell it to uh, goofballs like me, <laughs> who actually pay money to look at these things. Oh, geez. And of course, the worst part of these Mexican bootlegs is the way they smell. <laughs> they always have this weird, cheap, plasticky, burnt rubber smell. I'm not sure why they have that smell, but that's what they come with. So I'm not even sure if they make them with safe plastic that kids are allowed to play with. Oh man, I'm probably getting a disease right now just touching them. <laughs> so yep, there's the Sonic bootleg. <laughs> Super silly. Okay, let's take out another figure here. And ooh, Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman as he's known in the movie. <laughs> and we get a bootleg figure of him. Now this one isn't too bad because he's got that translucent body. That looks cool. And I kind of like his face. <laughs> they could have sculpted it a little bit better, but... Uh, Ah, oh, jeez, for a bootleg, I guess that's as good as we get. But he's got the mustache and the big nose and the crazy glasses on top of his head. But again, we look at the rest of his body. Oh, man, we see that they can't even stain the lines. <laughs> this paint job is horrible. I think I could do a better job. Uh, all the way around, this guy's crazy. And oh, look at this. Oh, he's got one of those light sockets like the other Mexican bootleg toys have. Well, that's weird. The Sonic one doesn't have one, but uh, I guess the Robotnik one does. Right, because he's so portly. <laughs> All right, so let's press this, because I can't wait to see him light up. Whoa, check it out. Oh, his body lights up. Oh, that is pretty cool. Nice little bonus there, I think. So let's turn the lights out. And oh, check it out, I love it. <laughs> it looks like his body's on fire, but boy, that's great. Huh, I didn't think this guy lit up, but oh, that's neat, I love it. In fact, it's probably the only bonus of this bootleg figure. <laughs> I mean, the sculpt could use some work. There's no articulation in these figures. Nope, they're just posed as they are. They don't swivel or anything. But uh, uh, the only redeeming quality is that he lights up. Uh, how about that? The light up feature saves the day. Cool. And of course, just like with the other Mexican bootleg toys, if you press this button once, it'll change the lighting pattern. Oh, that's pretty cool. Kind of hypnotic. And let's see, press it again. And it goes a lot slower. Oh man, like I said, I just love that light up feature on this guy. And since it's inside of a red body, I just love it. Looks like he's on fire or something. Well, what's going on with you, Dr. Robotnik? Quiet, Hedgehog. I'll do what I want. My body's the coolest and you're just jealous. 
Oh, brother, I'm not jealous of that. Quiet, Hedgehog. Oh, I'll get him one day. Ooh, things are heating up between these Sonic the Hedgehog figures. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's a figure of Tails, which I don't think he's in the movie, but um, here he is. Doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean, aside from the crazy paint job, this figure does look kind of cool. I mean, there could be a little bit more detail in his face, but uh, yeah, not bad. And the paint job, um, I think it's probably the best that we're gonna get out of this guy. I mean, it's a lot better than the Sonic paint job. But of course, there's not too much to paint because his body's all translucent. All you need is a little white, a little red, and uh, we have our Tails figure. <laughs> and at least they gave him two tails. Yep, they got that right. And yep, there's Tails which uh, isn't supposed to be in the movie, I guess, but there he is. Okay, so we have three more figures left, it looks like, and we'll just start off with good old Knuckles. I love Knuckles. And uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, this guy doesn't look too bad either. It's just his paint could have been a little better. He isn't translucent like Tails, but he's got those big old Knuckles. And, ah, oh, man, see, more paint boogers that you come to expect from a bootleg. Take some pride in your work, guys. We need a really good Sonic figure to sell to people. Oh well, at least his shoes look cool. They got the green and the red in them, and the socks. His tail looks cool. Yep, that's a bootleg figure of good old Knuckles. Okay, so next up is, uh, who is this, Sonic's girlfriend? Yep, her name's Amy, and uh, <laughs> again, she suffers from a bad paint job. Ooh, look at that. There's a paint booger there. There's a paint booger down here. Oh man, they're just all over the place. Oh man. No, this isn't a bad sculpt of Amy. In fact, she suffers due to the uh, crazy paint job that they gave on her. Look at that. Oh, man. They can't even stay on the lines on this girl. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Poor Amy. I just hope she can stand up on her own. <laughs> oh, she can't even do that. Oh, dog got it. In fact, I wonder if the other figures can stand up on their own. They haven't even tried. So let's see. We've got Sonic, or Tails and Knuckles here. And, well, Tails stands up, but not Knuckles. And let's see, Dr. Robotnik? Oh, cool, so I guess the only figures that stand are Tails, Dr. Robotnik, and, oh, geez, not even Sonic the Hedgehog stands. Oh boy, this is a crazy, terrible set. Okay, so the last figure we have here is, uh, oh man, what a mess. <laughs> Just look at those eyes. Geez, this is a terrible paint job. They can't even stain the lines. <laughs> There's paint boogers everywhere. Gosh, what a mess this thing is. Ugh, just look at the red on there. Holy cow. I'm not sure what this character is. I think she's also from that Sonic Boom video game. But, uh, yep, all the way around, it's just uh, one crazy bootleg to expect from uh, Mexico. And I guess I'll bet you $1,000 that she doesn't stand on her own either. <laughs> uh, looks like I win. Pay up, you. All right, so, oh man, she doesn't even stay up. Blah, what a crazy bootleg. Holy cow, where are all these bootlegs coming from? Wouldn't you like to know, Sonic? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, I'd like to know. Well, I'm not telling you. Yeah, what a jerk! All right, so once we put all these figures together in one place, well, we have the complete set of the Sonic the Hedgehog figures. And let's see, how many do I have in all here? Well, there's six. All right, cool. I can't believe I paid money for these things. Ugh, the paint's terrible. Some of the sculpts are terrible. Ugh, what was I thinking purchasing these? Ugh. Because if I want to buy a really decent Sonic the Hedgehog figure, I want something like this. Where the paint looks good, the sculpt looks good. I mean, just compare the beard on this guy to the beard on this guy. Ugh, no contest. This one's a true winner of the bunch. Now, we've gotten some really cool figures, Sonic the Hedgehog characters in the past, that look just like their counterparts from the video game, and even the movie too. And there's just no end to these really cool figures. But if we look at these figures over here, holy cow, we can see that there's a lot of room for improvement. But oh well, I was able to pick all these figures up for like $10, so I guess you get what you pay for. So it's not all bad because, well, like I said, Dr. Robotnik lights up. All right. Oh, for crying out loud, Dr. Eggman, you're blinding me over here. Quiet, hedgehog. You've got so many paint issues. I'm the least of your worries. Ha ha ha. Oh, brother. All right, kids. Well, there they are. All the Sonic the Hedgehog movie figures that I could find. And if you want some for your very own, well, I wouldn't bother. Because I'd rather get the official ones. Because they've made all kinds of them. But if you really want them, well, I found these on eBay. So keep an eye out there for your collection. <laughs>